Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to show you how to draw a body plot using the body plot table. So I'm going to draw both the magnitude and the phase plot for this transfer function. So first we need to make our transfer function ready uh, so we can then draw the body plot of that transfer function. By making the transfer function ready, I mean that every polynomial in the numerator and denominator of the transfer function, they should have a constant of 1. So I mean, for example, here the polynomial that I have in the numerator, s plus 1, this is already ready. Why? Because I have a constant 1 over here. But in the denominator, you can see that we have a constant of 10 over here that I have to convert it to 1. So what I can do, I can actually factor out a 10 from that parenthesis. So I'm going to have 10s squared. Then that is 1 plus s over 10. So now my constant is equal to 1. So now all the polynomials and the constant, everything inside this transfer function is ready for drawing the body plot diagram. So my transfer function is h of s is equal to, so I have 0 0.1 in the numerator and I have a 10 in the denominator. So I'm going to have 0 0.01 as a constant, as the gain, and then that multiplied by s plus 1 over s squared multiplied by 1 plus s over 10. All right, so now I have to draw the body plot diagram. So as you all know, body plot diagram is the frequency response of a function that will show it graphically. So what you will have to do, what you will have to do is you have to plot every um, single polynomial that you have inside this transfer function. Um, separately and then you have to add them graphically. By polynomial, I mean all the polynomials, all the constants, so whatever whatever term that you have inside this transfer function. So what I'm going to do, I will just color code these terms that I have inside my transfer function. So this will be term number one, this will be term number two. I'm doing this because when I want to refer to each of these terms, I can show you I can tell you which color I'm talking about, and then um, that way I think it will help you to understand it better. And we'll just call this term number four. So we will start with term number one. So what I'm going to do, I will draw the magnitude plot first, and then I'm going to go over the phase plot. So first I'm going to go over term number one. So my term number one is my gain k equal to 0 0.01. When I go to this table, I will see that whenever I have the factor k for the magnitude, I'm going to have 20 log base 10 of k. So I have to find the 20 log 10 of 0 0.01. So we know that this is 20 multiplied by minus 2, and that would give me minus 40. Why is it minus 2? Because the log of 0 0.01, log base 10 of 0 0.01, is negative 2. So I'm going to have negative 40. So I will go back to my um, semi-log paper. So you know that for drawing the body plots, we normally have the semi-log uh, paper that is showing it's kind it's showing the frequencies uh, on the x-axis and on the y-axis we have the magnitude in the magnitude body plot and the phase in the phase body plot. So what we have in the frequency in the um, x-axis on the x-axis is frequency omega. So this is my omega if this is my axis. So please note that everything that I'm writing here, S, in all of them, S is equal to J omega. All right? Okay, so let's start from the term 1 and let's draw the first graph. So I have K equal to 0 0.01 and I saw that the magnitude of that will be negative 40. So I have to go back to my body plot paper. 
and draw a line on negative 40. So I'm going to draw each um, one of these terms with the same color and then at the end I will add everything up to have the body plot. Okay, so this was term one. So what I'm always recommending students to do is to write the slope of each line on that line when you are drawing it separately because then at the end when you want to add them up that will help you not to get confused over um, the slopes and everything will not be like mixed up. So here we're going to have zero decibel per decade as the slope. What does zero decibel per decade mean? So we know that the magnitude of the body plot, we are showing it by decibels. We're showing it in decibels. So here you see that each of these decades that we have, for example, from 10 to the negative 1, from omega equal to 10 to the negative 1 to omega equal to um, 10 to the 0 is one decade. Then from 10 to the 0 to 10 to the 1, we have another decade, right? So in these decades, we see that the slope of the line, the red line that we have, does not change. So that means that we have a zero decibel per decade as the slope of this line. That is obvious. It's a horizontal line, so the slope of it is zero. We'll go back to the second term that we have in our transfer function. So the second term that we have it with um, purple, the second term is s plus 1. Term s plus 1 is actually equal to j omega plus 1 to the power of 1. Why did I write it this way? Because I want to compare this term with the factors that I have here in my table. So I have to find something like 1 plus j omega. I can see that here I have the term 1 plus j omega over z when n is equal to 1 in my case. So in this case, with respect to the table, n is equal to 1 and z is equal to 1. What is the z that I'm writing? It's this z over here. So when I have that, how does the body plot look like? So it will stay at 0 until omega equal to z to my 0, and then it will go up with the slope of 20 n decibel per decade. So we'll go back here. Why am I going up by that slope? Because this was in the numerator, so it's our zero. It is not the pole. And in the table, we saw that the slope was positive 20 and decibel per decade. So it says that we have to stay at zero until z equal to one. So z equal to one means at this point, which is 10 to the zero. And then we have to go up by a slope of um, 20 decibel per decade. It means that each decade, my magnitude should increase by 20 decibel. So from 10 to the 0 to 10 to the 1, I have to increase from 0 to 20 decibel. Then it has to increase to 40 when we go from 10 to the 1 to 10 to the 2. So I can just connect these points in order to have this line. All right. Oh, the line that I had for the first term is deleted for some reason. So I'm going to draw that line again. All right. So as I told you, go ahead and write the slope of that line on the line itself. So we have a slope of 20 decibel per decade. Why I didn't write the slope on the uh, horizontal part? Because we already know that the horizontal part has a slope of um, 0. All right, so let's go back to the third term. Our third term, I showed it as s squared, but it's technically 1 over s squared because I know that this is a pole because it's in the denominator. So I'm going to have 1 over s squared, which is equal to 1 over j omega to the power of 2. Let's go back to my table and see which one this looks like. So I see that I have the factor over here, 1 over j omega to the power of n. What is my n over here? 
is equal to 1. So we see that when we have this term, I have a pole at the origin, and how it looks like the magnitude plot, it looks like a line that is passing omega equal to 1 at the magnitude of 0, and it's going down with the slope of negative 20 n decibel per decade. So in my case, actually n is equal to 2 here, right? So the slope that I have is minus 40 decibel per decade. So I'll go back here. We know that it has to um, actually go down with a slope of negative 40 decibel per decade, and it has to be at the magnitude of zero when it reaches omega equal to one, okay? So the slope should be negative 40 decibel per decade. So this will be one point, the other point. So I'm going down by 40 decibel per decade, and I am passing zero at omega equal to one. So please do not look at the degree that I have on this ruler. So I'm just using the ruler so I can have straight lines because the slopes that I'm writing are decibel per decade and they're not in degrees, okay? So don't confuse yourself with that. So the slope of this green line is negative 40 decibels per decade. And now we have another term that is my last term and it is the term 1 over 1 plus s over 10, which is term number 4. So in term number 4, I have 1 over 1 plus s over 10 to the power of 1. So that is equal to 1 over 1 plus j omega over 10 to the power of 1. So if I go back to my table, I can see that I have this term over here, so my p is equal to 10 when I'm comparing this fact, these two factors, and my n is equal to 1. So we see that my body plot, the magnitude body plot, will stay at 0 until omega reaches p, and then it goes down by a slope of negative 20 n decibel per decade, in which n is equal to 1 in our case. So we'll go down here. So we said that we have to stay at 0 until omega equal to p. Omega equal to p means omega equal to 10. So this will be my line. And then it should go down by a slope of negative 20 decibel per decade from there. So we have a point over here, another point, and another point over here. And I'm going to connect these points in order to have my magnitude plot for the last term. So here we have a slope of negative 20 decibels per decade. All right. So now what I have to do, I have to add these, gra uh, these plots graphically in order to have my total magnitude body plot. All right. So let's add these graphs up. And what I always recommend my students to do is to Define your critical frequencies. By that, I mean define the frequencies at which any of the graphs just change slope. So, for example, at omega equal to 10 to the 0, we see that we have our um, purple graph change slope. But between 10 to the negative 1 until 10 to the 0, everything is the same. Then Next frequency is 10 to the 1. So this is not necessary. This is just to um, organize what you have. So then you won't be confused. And then at omega equal to 10 to the 3. Which actually, no, there we don't have any change. Never mind. So after 10 to the um, 1, all the plots, they, have, um, they will have the same slope. All right. So... 
I'm going to add these graphs up. So from 10 to the negative 1 until 10 to the 0, I'm going to add my four um, plots. So I have the red plot, blue plot, purple plot, and green plot. The red, blue, and purple, they have a slope of 0. So they don't have any effect on the slope of the body plot. But they do have some effect on the magnitude of the body plot. So you'll see that the red plot will shift everything down by minus 40 decibel per decade. So it will shift the blue and purple plot by a magnitude of minus 40 decibel. But then I, if I look at the green plot, it is at positive 40 when we are at omega equal to 10 to the negative 1. So that 40 plus negative 40 will be 0. So my body plot will start from point 0 at 10 to the negative 1, at omega equal to 10 to the negative 1. Now, what would be the slope from 10 to the negative 1 to 10 to the 0? I'm going to add all the slopes. So I see that I have a negative 40 decibel per decade for the green line, and the rest, they have a slope of 0. So I'm going to have a graph with negative 40 decibel per decade as its slope. So this will be my body plot for this portion. So it's minus 40 decibel per decade. Now, so the, uh, the red plot, it already had its effect on the total body plot because it shifted everything down by negative 40, okay? And also, the green line, they took everything up by that 40, so everything is like balanced now here, so I don't have to um, take into consideration the negative 40 effect anymore because the body plot, it is already shifted down by negative 40. All right, so just pay attention to this fact that the red graph, it already had its effect on the total body plot. So it shifted everything down by negative 40 decibel. So I don't have to um, actually take into consideration the effect of that negative 40 anymore because it already shifted the body plot by negative 40 decibel. Okay, so from omega equal to 10 to the zero, which is one, until omega equal to 10, let's see what is happening. The slope of the red and blue line, they have a slope of zero, so they don't have any effect on the body plot, but and on the body plot's slope, but the purple plot, it has a um, slope of 20 decibel per decade, while the green plot, it has a slope of negative uh, 40 decibel per decade. So when I add them up, I'm gonna end up with negative 20 decibel per decade. So from 10 to the 0 until 10 to the 1, I should have my body plot with a slope of negative 20 decibel per decade. Okay, so here I have negative 20 decibel per decade. So this is the slope that I'm writing. And then from 10 to the 1 until infinity, because none of the graphs are changing slope anymore, we see that the purple line, it has a 20 decibel per decade slope. The blue line, it has a um, negative 20 decibel per decade. So this will cancel the slope of the purple line. So this will be 0, 20 minus 20 is 0. So we'll end up with the slope of the green um, line, which is minus 40 decibel per decade. So from 10 to the 1, from omega equal to 10, 10, um, to infinity, we're going to have a plot with a slope of negative 40 decibel per decade. So I'm going to have a line going here and then to minus 140 and so on and so forth. So let me draw the line over here. All right. So this line, it has a slope of negative 40 decibel per decade. All right, so this black plot is representing our body plot for the transfer function that you have seen over here. So next, we'll go ahead and plot the phase plot, uh, the phase body plot of this transfer function.
okay so please watch the next video uh, in which I will talk about how to draw the um, face body plot and I will link the video up here I will see you in the next video